So the time right now is two o'clock. I am looking to do this video, but before I do, I have to put on my seatbelt because I'm actually driving. And secondly, I have to figure out how the hell this car works. You can go, sir. I'm sorry. I apologize. Fuck. And then I have to find something that will hold this phone because I can't do this. And I'm going to tell you five things I wish I knew before I started the sponsorship for events. It's going to be very interesting. First of all, let's try to go to Cash Crusaders. Yes! Cash Crusaders! And find a stand. Stop recording. And the whole world now wants to hear your story. Hey. Talk about the back car. Nigga, get Pandamo. 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 Hey. Say hi to my YouTube channel. Hey. 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 Alright, someone's gonna help me. Who's gonna help me? You gonna help me? Who's gonna help me? Chichi, come. Come help me, dog. Please. All right, so I shop here all the time, so I know most of the people that are here, and they always give me nice uh, prices. But there's something that's not wrong. Phone here, I get them to talk about bullying. See, what up, dog? What up, dog? Yeah, it's wrong. Go, 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 go to, go, 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 go. Like some, something like that. Is it the best one? Hello. This one. Hello. Hello. One good. So. Okay, take it out, Sibor. Okay, so that's sorted. Nicely done. What's going on now? Alright, so that's sorted seat belt on and we can start with this five things I wish I knew when I was approaching sponsors or founders. Founders, people that give you money. I wish I knew this. I'd be rich by now. I'm only starting to get money now because now I have the information. All right, let's check it out. Number one, let's start with number one. And number one, basically, I wish I knew how to write a proposal. I wish I knew how to write a detailed, not only a proposal, but a detailed proposal of exactly what I wanted and exactly what I was trying to achieve and exactly how I was actually gonna do this. So, number one, writing a proper proposal. And it's actually easy because if you go into your um, Gmail, um, not Gmail, Google, it shows you templates of actually writing a proposal for sponsors or brands that you're trying to partner up with. So, I wish I knew how to write a detailed proposal. And I think I must actually do another video of how to write a detailed proposal for a sponsorship or funding that you're trying to get. That's my number one. Okay, number two. I wish I did my research. I really wish I did my research about the brands that I was trying to work with. So, if you're trying to work with, let me make an example, Flying Fish. That's one of the guys that we work with, one of the brands we work with. We love Flying Fish. I got to do my research of who are they trying to target. You need to know who they're trying to target, what they're trying to achieve as a brand. If you can get that right, it's easy to also put it in your proposal and to break it down and uh, for them to actually give you um, some kind of attention because you know exactly what they're trying to achieve. Every single brand, every single brand, whether it's Sky, whether it's uh, Coffee, what, what, they're trying to achieve a certain something, you know, or they they have a target, they have a target uh, market they want to penetrate or get into. So, do your research, that's number two. Number three, now, number three, 
I, I am still learning how to maneuver this. Numbers game. Yo, it's so important, guys. The numbers game is so, so much important because you need to know your numbers of how, like, when I say numbers game, what's this um, game? I'm talking about what is... What are you giving to the brand in order for the brand to give back to you? You know what I'm saying? So you need to know your numbers. You need to know your figures. You need to know um, exactly what is your portion or what are they getting from this whole thing. They should be getting one thing though. That is sales. Number four. This one is very funny, but it's so true. Listen. I wish I knew my dumb self when I was started events at the age of 18 that no brand cares about you saying that you're gonna ever if they ask you which they will um, what are we getting from this deal what, 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 what are we getting from this deal this deal what are we getting and you say we're gonna market your event bruh you're gonna market the brand you're gonna you 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 BA, you BA, broke BA who doesn't even have a budget. You are going to market SAB, a whole SAB. Never ever say that to a rap or in your proposal, never say marketing or advertising. They will shut it down straight from there. Why do you think they have billboards all over the show? Why do you think they market on TV? They are spending billions and billions of rands on marketing. They don't need you to market their brand. So never ever put that in. I wish I knew that. You know how many times I've used it? Oh, uh, what are you gonna do for a bird? I'm gonna give you advertising, free advertising. Oh, free advertising, that's not really free. How much you want? I want 100K. Oh, so 100K for you to put up a flyer. Okay, last one, but very, 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 very much important. Let me put my windows up. Very important. This is what I wish I knew before uh, approaching the sponsors and approaching people with funding. To know when they actually get their budget. Because <laughs> you're actually wasting your time. It's actually called, uh, in your, what is it called? Help me out there. Mm. It's called financial year, yes. It's called financial year or financial month when they actually get their budget from overseas or wherever the hell they're getting it from. And it's going to a company. Some are actually in, they get their budget early in, in January. Some of them get it in July, June. Um, so it's very important to know when they're actually getting their budget so you can approach them. Never, ever, ever, yes guys, never ever approach a brand a week or two weeks before your event that's stupid like they're not gonna even take you seriously it has to be two or a month or if you're really tight like i am with them i well i do two weeks now because they have my yearly calendar so i've been working with the brands for four or five years you have to actually put in the work for them to trust you and to put them to put your event in the calendar so know when their financial year is uh, uh, so that uh, they can tell you if there's a budget for your for your thing and it, if they actually have a budget and your concept and your proposal and everything I told you to do was tight I'm telling you that funding is yours so yeah best of luck uh, to everyone that is trying to get funding uh, it's a beautiful year 2020 I got my funding already well I, I know I'm gonna get it so <laughs> Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe if, if you just joined us and yeah, I'm here now somewhere getting my stuff done, 20 things. Alright, don't forget, I'm going to drop 5 things I wish I knew about side hustles. So not even 5 things I wish I knew, let's put it, let's put it very easily, let's find a title, oh yes, 5 side hustles in South Africa that you can do while you're doing your 9 to 5. Or going to school five next up when I post it I haven't shot it yet bye